I'm the doctor. Just the doctor, and this is my crew. How do you do? I'm just a madman with a box, big blue box, foxy and sexy, if you only knew. Yes, it's bigger on the inside. Ask Captain Jack, it's a great ride back in his mind. I reside in the TARDIS, home is where the heart is, and like Lisa Simpson, I can see you through time. I have been to the end of the universe and back again, then reverse course and we arrive. Back where we started in the TARDIS, but for people come with me, I really like to try to bring him back alive. So if you want to come and get your things, I'll take you where the sky sings, tell your mom that you ring around the cell. Or the things I can show you as I get to know you, but don't wait for me, because that never ends well. I am the doctor! <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back here. Welcome to another reviewing from my channel. Yes, I and another video for this year. Cool, we'll pick up something to show you. Series 5, Volume 1. I have now completed the entire Series 5. I now have all three complete series of Matt Smith. I only need to get his Christmas specials to complete his entire Ella as the Doctor. And finally, I've managed to get Doctor Who, the missing episodes the Second Doctor, Volume 2. I have Volume 2 of the Second Doctor, but I do not have um, the William Hartnell um, volume in that version yet, so I might have to eBay for that. But it's on for the main um, event, and that is the reviewing of Day of the Doctor. I only watched this this morning, and I just realised how bloody amazing this story is. It is just cracking good. BC. Uh, done around a like a little um, greyish um, sky star pattern. You've got Matt Smith Doctor, you've got the Tenth Doctor as David Tennant, and you've got the War Doctor. Um, in other words, the John Hurt Doctor, or the um, let me just say 8.5, Doctor. If you know what I mean, he's kind of he's kind of the Doctor between the Eighth Doctor and the Ninth Doctor, so it's a bit confusing. But then you've got a few Daleks exploding. On the on the section of Gallifrey, Arcadia. Then you've got the TARDIS up here exploding. Don't know if you guys can see that. Then down here, you've actually got a bad wolf symbol here. Um, a couple other little things that I would like to go over, but not in this video because that'd be a bit boring. Um, BBC Doctor Who, um, Doctor Who Lego, and the Day of the Doctor 50th Anniversary Special, Friends of Gardens, um, PG, um, Spine, uh, BBC DVD, uh, little DVD code thing here. Um, 50 years Doctor Who symbol, Doctor Who, the Day of the Doctor, Friends of Gardens, um, BBC. Starring Matt Smith, David Tennant, Jenna Coleman, with um, Jenna Louise Coleman, um, with Billy Piper and John Hurt. Um, the Doctors embark on their greatest adventure in this 50th anniversary special in 2013. Something terrible is awakening London's National Gallery in 1562. A murderous plot is afoot in Elizabeth, in, in Elizabethan England, and somewhere in space, an ancient battle reaches its devastating conclusion. All of reality is at is at stake as the Doctor's own dangerous past comes back to haunt him. Um, bonus features and um, Doctor Who explained behind the scenes um, too many episodes and trailers. Then on the picture here you've got like a little smoking pattern um, mingling with the um, dark grey skyish pattern. Then you've got Arcadia with the bad wolf symbol here. Then you've got the big bad wolf here aka Rose Tyler. Um, then up here you've got the War Doctor John Hurt. Then you've got the 11th Doctor and you've got the 10th Doctor. Then you've got um, Clara, forgot the name there. Um, then you've got uh, Dalek Dome. Um, this is by Stephen Moffat, directed by Nick Cohen, produced by Marcus Wilson, etc. Producers Stephen Moffat and Faith P P Penhale. Um, designed by Peacock, front and back cover images by Lee Binding. Dude, he did a really good job. Um, um, bonus little things you get in the package with this DVD. Um, feature length of 76 minutes of prox, contains mild violence and threat as it's PG. Um, and you've got a little disc here. Um, pretty much an extract. It's pretty much a disc, um, a circular version of the actual cover itself. Then if we take all this out, you've actually got a background here. Um, all three Doctors in the War Doctors TARDIS. Just there. Okay. So, my overall thoughts on Day of the Doctor. If I can get all this back in. It's a bloody amazing adventure. <laughs> okay, I will go over one thing that is bad about the story. I mean, it's pretty much flawless, but um, it does, near the end, drag like a minuscule amount. It makes, 
it makes what could have been a 70 minute story into a 76 minute story it is that draggy um but aside from that little thing nah it's not even gonna ruin my rep it's, it's not even gonna ruin it but it's a cracking good doctor Who story i love how he gets to reveal about more about the time war um i love um that the build up of this of from the name of doctor reaches this epic conclusion um i love how um his name of the name of the doctor isn't actually you know like an actual real life name like fred or bob or something like that it's actually the name of the doctor and the name of the doctor is the name is the person i'm trying to i'm really trying to explain this as best as i could it's a bit complicated but the name of the doctor actually um builds up to this which actually reveals that the name of the doctor is actually the name of the person that actually ended the time war so in other words the name of the doctor is the actual um, it's not really a name, but it's kind of like a, I don't know, like some sort of, um, what would you call, like, I'm not sure what you would call it, but you kind of get my point, but I'm rambling on there. Ah, uh, but, no, uh, sorry about that, but, um, other than that, um, I was not what I'm saying, but, um, uh, my music's too good, I'm listening to, um, Florence the Machine, brilliant artist, um, so, oh, it's a really good Doctor Who story. Um, high budget blockbuster, highly recommend it. If you have not seen it yet, I am flipping surprised that you've, if you have not seen it yet, I am dreadfully surprised. Um, because this thing went into the Guinness Book World Records for the most, um, viewed, f um, television program across the world. I think it got, like, over 10 million people viewing it or something, it's a ridiculous number, like, something like that. Um, but nevertheless, it's a very, but, anyway, it's a very good Doc 2 story. Um, high budget blockbuster. I love how we get to see about more about the time war. Um, I love the Zygon to return, um, it's just a really good Doc 2 story, and it's just a surefire high tier classic, and I just highly recommend you get this DVD, I can't really recommend to see this story, purely because you've probably already seen this story, so I do recommend to see the story if you have not surprisingly seen it yet, but I wouldn't necessarily say, oh, I don't know, I've no idea what I'm saying, I'm a bit confused today, but anyway, um, that was my rather um, erratic review of Day of the Doctor. I'm kind of distracted by the music that I'm listening to, but I will. Um, but anyway, Day of the Doctor, really good Doctor Who story. Highly recommend you get this release. It's just bloody amazing, this Doctor Who story. Shifu is a classic, and I would definitely rate it a 10 out of 10. It's well-deserving. This monumental classic, that it is. So, that was my reviewing of Doctor Who, Day of the Doctor. So it's a bit of a rambling video, but... <laughs> bit of a ramble ramble type review but anyway like and subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this video of the reviewing from picture Girl black the reviewing of the day of the doctor so like and subscribe i hope you guys enjoyed this video picture Girl black dematerialize